pet parents. I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian. I've been practicing for seven years now, and today I'm gonna to tell you guys exactly what vaccines your kittens need and what vaccines they may have gotten at the shelter or at their breeder. And then I'm gonna tell you your adult cat's vaccine protocol that they're gonna need every year. So this is the closest I can get to you guys to give you some more time and education about your cats and your pets. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and hit the bell to help my videos circulate. And please put comments below. Millions of pet owners land on my channel and they'd love to read the questions that you guys have. And I'm happy to answer them too. Let's get into this. I don't want my kittens getting sick, so we're on a strict protocol. I start their vaccines at six weeks old, then I boost them again at eight weeks. Then your kitten is gonna get a vaccine every month from the last vaccine that they got for three more times. So they're gonna get it at 12 weeks, 13, 14, 15, 16 weeks, 17, 18, 19, 20 weeks, 21, 22, 23, 24 weeks. So every month, your kitten is gonna go back to the vet and get another boosted vaccine. And that's because the mom cat doesn't have antibodies for them anymore once they stop nursing. They're not protected. So these kittens stopped nursing at four weeks. So now they're six weeks old. So they haven't had any protection. So today they're getting their vaccines to make sure they don't get sick. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what's in this vaccine. So the important core vaccines that your kittens and cats need is the FVRCP1, which protects your kitten and your cats against three viruses, which I'm gonna explain next, so hold tight. And then the rabies vaccine, which is required by law. And they can get that vaccine at 12 weeks old. Um, your kitten may already have come with it from the shelter, but a breeder will most likely not have given the rabies yet unless they hold them back until they're 12 um, and you might have to do it with your vet. But mainly, they definitely are gonna have the FVRCP vaccine. Then we have an important non-core vaccine, and that's the feline leukemia virus vaccine, or FELV. So that's non-core. Your veterinarian may or may not give it um, in the beginning during the kitten vaccines, but I definitely recommend them having this if they're going outside, because this is a very common virus in outdoor cats. Um, if your cat is indoor and not around any other cats, they may not get this, but that's a friendly cat virus just from licking bowls and grooming, um, and that can shorten their lifespan and make them sick. So uh, that vaccine, I give them at around four months old if they're my rag dolls, like my fancy cats. If there are other cats that I know are going outside, I'll give them this vaccine on their kitten uh, vaccines with, with the other ones too. All right, so I am going to mix up this vaccine. So here's just the sterile dilutant and we're gonna put it in there and shake it around. So the three viruses that are inside this vaccine is feline calice virus, which is an upper respiratory disease in cats that causes tongue ulcers, um, and then feline viral rhinotracheitis, which is a feline herpes virus type one disease, and that affects their eyes and an upper respiratory system. And then the main one is feline distemper, which confusingly is a parvovirus. Um, so it causes something that looks like parvo in kittens. And that is the main reason I give this vaccine to my kittens is to prevent that and why I highly recommend this for all kitten and cat owners for them to get this vaccine to prevent against distemper. It is a terrible, terrible disease in cats. All right, so let's vaccinate the kitties. So they're six weeks old. Any breeders watching this, I give them a little vaccine right now. I actually only give them 0.3 mils of the vaccine, sometimes 0.2, depending on how big the kitten is. I don't blast them with the full thing. Then I boost them again with 0.3 to 0.2 at eight weeks old. Then at a month, when they go to their vet, their vet can blast them with that vaccine. But if they have a reaction, then I advise the kitten owners for my fancy rag dolls to talk to their vet about either a Benadryl shot or I love doing dexamethasone 0.2 mils or 0.1 mil per kitten 
when they get their vaccine because some of these kittens will stop eating and they'll get a fever, they'll be really lethargic and owners are so worried. I've been breeding ragdolls for four years now. So I've dealt with a lot of kitten owners who've gone to their vet and they call me crying, scared, their kitten is sick, their vet thinks their kitten is dying. And I tell them, wait, wait, when was the vaccine? All right, your kitten could be having a reaction go ahead and syringe feed them some food, syringe feed them some water, and see if your vet will give them 0.1 or 0.2 mils of Dex SP, a steroid that helps them feel better because they could be experiencing a reaction. So you're probably thinking like, oh, Dr. Lindsay, why are you giving this steroid? Doesn't that bring up a herpes virus flare up in cats and lower their immune system? Not if you do it one time at the time of the vaccine, they're gonna be okay, it's gonna help them. But today, I don't give them this steroid injection at their first vaccine at six weeks old because their body has never seen the vaccine. They are most likely not gonna get sick from it and not gonna have a reaction. But in two weeks, I might give them 0.1. Um, it depends how superstitious I'm feeling. You know, sometimes I do it and I'm like, okay, let's see what happens. Um, and they're fine. Other times I'm super busy and I'm like, I don't want anything happening to them. They're just gonna get 0.1 of uh, the dexamethasone SP steroid. They're gonna eat, they're gonna be fine and that's it. So it's really um, veterinarian preference or um, if you're a cat breeder and you've experienced this where they stop eating and you want the vet to give it, it's fine, they can do that. So I don't blast my kitties with this whole meal yet. They're babies, you know, look at this baby. All right, so I go to the shoulder and I give them a free. There you go, kitty. And then go ahead and grab my other kitten. I go to the shoulder. There we go. So I'm gonna do that again at eight weeks old because um, I'm their breeder. And then when I see people's kittens when they come in, I look at the last vaccine that their vet or the shelter gave them, and then I count a month from that vaccine, and that's when they get boosted again. And then I tell them every month they'll get one vaccine for the next three months, and then the rabies vaccine at 12 weeks. If I know these kittens are gonna be indoors, they're not going around any other cats, I don't give them the Feluc vaccine, but if I know there's other cats in the house or those other cats go indoor, outdoor, I will give them this vaccine at eight weeks old too. So I talk to each kitten owner and I know their lifestyle and what is going on in their house and what viruses this cat or the kitten could be exposed to. So I'll also give this again at three months old, four months old, five months old, um, if I know their situation. Um, but yeah, it's non-core, but this is an outdoor cat vaccine. But the FVCRP one, that's our important one. Feline distemper, do not want your kittens getting this. That's like kitty parvo, fading kitten, horrible virus. Okay, so that's it guys, really. That's your vaccine schedule, pretty simple. And then your older cats are gonna be boosted every year. You're gonna bring them in and they're gonna get the feline distemper virus vaccine or FBCRP, I've said it a million times. Um, and then they're gonna get their rabies vaccine every year, either a one year or a three year. And that's pretty much it. But uh, I'll talk about deworming a little bit. So I always deworm them with uh, Ponzeril or Panazeril for coccidia. All kittens and cats have coccidia. And then I always do a fecal sample to these little kittens um, when I see them with new client owners to check their poop. Make sure they're all good there. We talk about diet, make sure they're on a good diet. It's good for their stomachs and that they're not having diarrhea. Um, all right guys, I hope this video helped you a lot. I love my kittens. I wanna make sure they're all healthy and happy and I wanna make sure your kittens are too. So remember, subscribe. I make videos every single week. I post every Sunday. Um, so I hope to see you back here on my channel.